Application problems can and do arise. This may be due to incorrect consideration of the types of load applied to the alternator or how they're applied to the alternator. In this video, we discuss some of the common problems and what McAlty can do to help in sizing the alternator correctly. As a component supplier to the complete genset, McAlty is rarely aware of any specific application. When we are made aware and requested to assist, we will do so. On the McAlty website, in the download area, you will find the McAlty Sales Assistant. Here you can select alternators to match engine powers, engine powers to match alternators, make simple selections based on load, and also consider the impacts of non-linear loads such as UPS and motor speed control systems. If you have a mix of three-phase and single-phase loads, then the single-phase loads should be equally distributed on the three phases. In this event, please ensure the individual phase rating is not exceeded. Using the McAlty Sales Assistant program, you can select a nominal alternator size and the maximum single phase load or loads you intend to put on any of the phases. The result shows you the amount of three phase load you can have at the same time. The load unbalance assumes you have just one or two phases with the same amount of single phase load. You can load all three phases with identical levels of single phase load and have a zero unbalance. The allowable additional three phase load is the same. The McAlty regulators sense single phase only as standard. If you do not have the load on the phase being sensed, then voltage instability can result. We suggest with unbalanced loads to specify the DER1 regulator, which is capable of sensing all three phases. Without oversizing the alternator, we suggest that the load is balanced to within 15% to reduce the stress to the machine's damper cage and to limit the flow of negative currents. Extreme cases of unbalance may overheat the damper cage, causing failure of the machine. Loads that can create harmonic currents and directly affect the voltage distortion from the alternator include rectifiers, UPS systems, variable speed drives, soft start systems and switchable power supplies. These loads are known collectively as non-linear loads. A high content of non-linear load relative to alternator rating needs careful consideration. Such considerations include the heating effects of the current harmonics, the load-induced current distortion, resulting voltage distortion, and the size and subtransient reactance value of the chosen alternator. Most of the time, the load data is not available. For very high content non-linear loads, a general guide will be used. For 12 pulse UPS systems, an oversize of 5% is typical, while a 6 pulse variable speed drive will be 25 to 30% oversize. This assumes harmonic filters are not added to the supply system. Armed with the McCounty alternator data sheet of the machine selected, you can use the sales assistant to assess any resulting voltage distortion from the alternator. The voltage distortion level may or may not be accepted by the supplier of the non-linear load. If not, then a larger machine is selected until acceptable parameters are reached. The oversize should allow for the heating effects caused by the current harmonics. Three preset levels of current distortion are shown in this program. Please select one. The 10% is typical for a 12 pulse UPS system and 30% typical for a 6 pulse variable speed drive. You may also choose to change individual harmonics if you have a full spectrum from the load supplier. We suggest to use three-phase sensing for high-content, non-linear loads to enable the alternator to have a broader picture of load waveform. You do not need to specify PMG excited alternator as the McAlty MOLX or auxiliary winding gives sufficient isolation from the load harmonics. Instability of voltage and possible overheating of the windings may happen if proper consideration is not taken for the type of loads applied to the machine.